Tis the season for nativity scenes and for protests of those nativity scenes. However, critics of Denver's nativity display are not standing around holding signs this time around. They're paying for big, huge billboards. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez is live on where those billboards are going to be going up. Tyler, this protest is going to last at least four weeks. Right, Mike, this is the scene where one of those three billboard, billboards will start going up next Monday, all purchased by an atheist group with one clear message, trying to remove what Christians would call the reason for the season, baby Jesus, from the steps. The nativity scene is up at the city and county building, challenged and supported in court. Especially, you know, this time of the year is just perfect for it and represents what the people think in this town, what Catholic people think, I guess, and it's okay, it's fine. Opponents are now trying to gain support of the common man. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's appropriate because it doesn't really represent all the interests of the, the greater population of Colorado. Here's what you'll see. Three billboards that say move this nativity scene to a church. There should not be a government supported religion. And that's exactly what this is. It's government supported religion. The message has changed a bit for Marvin Strauss. In 2008, it was an atheist's plea on 11 billboards, which he says brought a month with 10 times the normal amount of traffic to the Colorado Coalition of Reasons website. This time, he doesn't want petitions or support letters, just more attention to what he says is the wrong message. One of the great lies I know is this is a Christian nation. It is not a Christian nation, and this is just a continuation of the fight. We met Marvin Strauss in Boulder. He says he did pay $1,000 to put those three billboards up starting Monday, but in 2008 he spent $5,000 to put 11 of them up. What surprised him is that he got $4,000 in donations. He thinks that's a sign more and more people are willing to support these kinds of religion-free causes. Live in Denver, Tyler Lopez, 7 News. Thank you, Tyler. A spokesperson for the mayor's office tells 7 News the city's nativity scene has survived many legal challenges over the last 40 years. She says that anyone is allowed to disagree, but the First Amendment is on the city side along with public sentiment.